irritating voice, irritating, pointless video. The couple of minutes I wasted goes to show people will watch garbage. The results of a spoiled child. I've seen this play out with a different childish person. This is so pointless. Honestly, this makes me want to jump off a bridge. Yeah, you might actually be right about that one. <laughs> so this all started perhaps like two months ago when I first saw a photo of Kira Knightley in Pirates of the Caribbean. And I thought to myself, I want to look like that. Why don't more people want to be a pirate? And I want a boat. So for the past two months, I've been silently collecting the perfect pieces for a pirate wardrobe. All of the pieces are thrifted from the jewelry to the shoes. Not the underwear though, because I'm not trying to get pregnant. So the first thing we're doing, contact lenses. I mean, you're either blind as frick or you have to walk the plank. I'm pretty sure that's how Johnny Depp won Pirates of the Caribbean. Today's outfit, honestly, it's a pretty generic pirate outfit if I do say so myself. I don't want to dive head in and like embarrass myself day one. I'm pretty shy in person so this video is gonna take some basketball sized lady nuts if you know what I mean to pull off the exciting part about this outfit though is that the pants they are thrifted <laughs> but they're also from Aritzia. <laughs> Unfortunately, they do make me look quite thick, if you know what I mean, but I'm a pirate, so emphasis is on looking like I'm gonna steal all your gold, so I think we're good. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to school. <laughs> so that Monday was a Monday like any other. I had school, so I had to mentally prepare myself to not fall asleep in all my lectures. That obviously meant that I also had to bake my breakfast pancake before going to school because as much as I'd want to, I can't take my entire kitchen with me to make me food whenever I please. Yes, I got it! Today's gonna be a good day! If you're wondering where this jacket came from, newsflash, it's from Aritzia. But why am I wearing it, you may be wondering. Well, turned out that the Arctic pooped on Toronto that very Monday, so I had to bundle up. I mean, let's be honest here, Captain Hook is not one to go and build a snowman. He'll probably steal all the snowman's gold first and then throw him overboard. So yeah, I went to school, and in the meantime, Mother Nature upgraded from mild snow dusting that will probably cause a minor inconvenience on the road to, oh my god, you know what be cool if we turned the highways into one giant macabre slip and slide type of blizzard. Yeah, it was a pretty rough day, especially when you're dressed like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the snow for some sick reason. When I see that everything is covered in 10 inches of snow, I get excited, but regardless, at this point, the outfit was still holding up. I need to mention a couple things, actually. Number one, the shirt might have actually been made out of paper because it felt like I was perpetually standing in a freezer, the thing held in no heat at all. Number two, who on earth were these pants made for? I know they're from Aritzia and that should mean that I can't hate them, but find me someone who actually looks good in them and you have yourself someone even Thanos would fear. And number three, buttercup squashes are royally amazing. They deserve their own tier on Maslow's hierarchy of needs right under avocados. Thank you very much. I'm here to pillage your village. Good morning, my dudes. Before you dare even have the audacity to say that I'm not taking any of this seriously, let me tell you something. Yesterday, I went on the interwebs and searched up pirate couture and realized that many of the models were actually wearing makeup and I was like, I can do that too. You know me, I don't wear makeup, but you know what? If it's for looking like a pirate, God damn it, I'm going to slather that stuff on thick. Like I'm literally putting my eczema on the line for this. Do you understand how much of a sacrifice I'm making? Yesterday on the ride home from Loblaws, where I bought this makeup, I had the wonderful idea to test it out, you know? I mean, it can't be that hard. Listen, like, it just got everywhere. Things were flying. I looked like I had been a part of the Logan Paul and KSI chicken fight. Why don't we start with the lips, because I feel like that's gonna be easier. How am I supposed to fill in my lips and not go outside the line? Oh no- Ah! Mm hmm Nice to meet you. How did I get it on my nose? What? Okay, now we're gonna go in with the eyeshadow. Again, all the photos I saw, the models were wearing really heavy, smoky eyes. So we're going for I got punched in the face vibes. Oh my god, that's a lot of fallout. No, I don't want that on my desk. Okay, I only have one brush. I'm gonna have to go in with this one to like smooth things out a bit. <laughs> oh my god. 
my god, what have I done? I look terrifying right now. Like, I look like the third removed cousin of the Adams family. So, the fit for today. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty wild one. So, first off, the dress underneath. It is a frumpy little lingerie dress from La Vie en Rose. And then I have this peasant top. Nothing really special about that. Then this denim bustier, I think is what it's called. The bustier is from a brand called Sexy Kitten. Okay, and finally, my cowboy boots. I know what you're thinking. Why is pirating so addictive? Because they say once you lose your first hand, you get hooked. Sorry, I searched up bad pirate puns and that came up. So don't let this footage fool you. I may appear quite agile, but this whole outfit really was a hassle to manage. I really don't know what pirate would wear this and be able to get anything done. I mean, you all know I operate on a strict, if it doesn't work during an apocalypse, I'm not gonna put it on my body rule. That's why I have 30 seven cargo pants, so riddle me a more dysfunctional outfit to fight Blackbeard in. In other news, that Tuesday morning, Toronto was still reeling from the blizzard that raved all over it the night before. There was a good, like, five inches of snow on the ground, which leads me to my next point. I could not have chosen a worse time to make this video. Honestly, who let me put on something this dinky in negative 10 degree weather? Like, this isn't cut out for anything remotely snowy. Mom, is it your fault? Who am I to blame if I get frostbite? Maybe I'll lose a hand to frostbite and replace it with a hook. Probably could write it off as a business expense. Also, forget about working out in this outfit. Yeah, I tried that and I felt more incapable than a sunken ship. The final thing of importance that happened that day was that I made a cauliflower pizza. I know who regurgitated that. If you're wondering, you just substitute the flour for cauliflower and boom, carbs are gone with the wind. Listen, okay, I was skeptical at first that this thing would flop, but some way, somehow, this thing tasted incredible. Like, definitely one of the top 10 things I've ever tasted. It was stretchy, chewy, cheesy, and a little bit deadly. I got lost in the pizza sauce my dude. Oh, and one more thing, if you're wondering where my makeup went, yeah, that didn't last like half a day. My skin was screaming at me to get it off, so I fought my face in the washroom and ended up looking like a discount joker, or maybe a broke Beetlejuice. You choose. I really don't think I can get down from here. Good morning, my dudes. How's it going? It's 7.30. Wednesday, November 13th. Today's outfit's kind of exciting. So first off, the shirt. It's just this simple paisley bodysuit. The pants, though, those are ridiculous. Like, the flare at the bottom, my god. Shiver my timbers, what the heck is happening? <laughs> and the shoes, those are probably my favorite part too. Those are some funky heels. Like the shape of the toe is really strange. It's kind of piratey, I don't know. So a couple of notes on this outfit. It was more of a modern pirate look and it was definitely the most wearable one out of the five I wore this week. You could definitely pillage a couple towns in this outfit and still make it back in time for supper. The only real inconvenience with this outfit was that those pants, they were tighter than spandex. Like, like, wedgies were a given, but it's for the look, so I'll let it slide. Also, it was on that day that I had an algebra midterm. Yes, I was gonna take the test in that outfit. What did you expect? I'm an educated pirate. I say please before I steal your gold, and thank you once I've killed you. Actually, I have photos of me during the test. Here's exhibit A, exhibit B, um... See? How did the test go, you may be wondering. It went well, but the first 10 minutes consisted of me in two tight pants freaking out simply because it's a midterm and nothing on the page processed in my brain because of that. It was like reading hieroglyphs without glasses, so yeah, just imagine that. Good morning, my dudes. So today is Thursday, November 14th. The great thing is, I don't have school today. However, I do have a physics midterm to study for. I'm almost 90% sure that my physics professor and algebra professor are in cahoots with each other because they're notorious for assigning test days that are like one after the other. Yeah. Uh, CIA please get on that. So let's just get right into the outfits. Last two outfits this week, they're inspired by the woman who started this madness herself, Elizabeth Swan. So this outfit is just a classic, you know. I don't really know which movie she wore this outfit in. All I know is that that movie made her a butt ton of money. So the pants, remember how that Jean Bustier was by the brand Sexy Kitten? Yeah, well this time these pants are by the brand Seduction. Like. Who am I trying to impress? I mean, guys, keep it in your pants, and if you can't, just tape it down. This shirt, it's just from Guess, so keep guessing how tired I am with this video. 
<laughs> that was funny. Jacket is just a frumpy old brown pile of fabric sewn together. Guess what happened on Thursday? No, really, what did you think? <laughs> It snowed again. I mean, where is this snow even coming from? The aliens? Like, us Canadians just can't get a break, can we? This stuff litters our driveways, breaks into our homes, eats all our food, and steals all our gold. Pirates of the Caribbean, coming to a Netflix near you. But in all seriousness, this outfit was by far the most comfortable one of the bunch. The shirt might have been a little bit too tight for my massive lady guns, but for 99 cents, this shirt was a steal. The pants, they definitely looked the part, but they did this really weird thing where they were extremely tight in the front, saggy in the back, and flare at the bottom. Like, who? What? Why did you make this? Which Oompa Loompa designed this? Was it the one with or without the brain cell? The only thing I really did that day was study my buttocks off. Listen, I love physics, I enjoy it quite a bit, but I will also be like the millionth person to admit that it's very hard. You have to have all your ducks in a row if you're to understand Newton's jargon. Like, I'll have a serving of confusion with a side of relativity, thank you very much. Why am I still doing this? So today, my dudes, we're rounding off the week with a banger, if you know what I mean. It's quite a lot, so brace yourselves. I found this photo of Elizabeth Swan, and my goodness me, it spoke to me on a spiritual level. The jacket, you're probably all wondering, fine, I'll come clean, it wasn't thrifted. I bought it off of Amazon. My mother actually loved it for some reason. Why? I don't know. It's a men's jacket, and if you look at it from afar, it kind of looks like something Donatella versus Versace would throw on the runway after one too many lines of cocaine. But honestly, this is probably my favorite outfit of the entire week because it's just so awesome. <laughs> and I honestly can't wait to make a fool of myself walking around campus like this. Oh boy, were we really stepping out on Friday. This jacket was something else entirely. Sure, the buttons didn't actually work and the jacket was a men's jacket, but my oh my, was it the hardest thing I've ever worn. Like, people were not staring at me out of secondhand embarrassment. No, they were staring at me because they were scared that I would make them walk the plank. So if you're wondering what happened here, yes, I had a physics exam at 1230, but you know what? I really don't think it's reasonable for you to judge me for going to the grocery store for the second time in one week. I'm only three pounds into freshman 15, so I've got some bulking up to do. Oh, and it's my business if I lose my buttons along the way and you have no right to push them. Got that? At some point though, I did take the physics midterm. Surprisingly, in terms of panic, it went a lot better than my last one. I didn't start sweating like a fountain at my desk when the tests were handed out, so that's good. The last thing I did that day was eat a Quest protein bar. Now, I'm proud to admit that I've tried every single Quest protein bar out there, except for the ones with nuts, obviously. And I can firmly say that they are in the top 11 best things I've eaten in my life. Edit, as of me filming this, I have discovered a flavor that I have yet to try. It's chocolate sprinkled donut. I'll let you know how that goes. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. That tastes like shit. But yeah, it was stupendous. Like, they always are. And if you're wondering whether I ate it in the bathroom because I was embarrassed, you'd be correct. By then, the day was over, and the entire week was done too. Although it had been fun, I wanted this to be over. I felt like a shipwreck. I was a shipwreck. Um... So yeah, that happened. All I can say is that I came... I saw, I went, and now I expect to be in the 2025 remake of Pirates of the Caribbean where I play every single part. I hope you enjoyed this video, my dudes. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I hope the weather is treating you well wherever you are. I love you so much. Stay spunky, stay funky, and stay spicy. Toodles, my dudes.